Hi, I'm Martin Dornfeld with Surge X, and this is Big Bertha. This is our 6,000 volt, 3,000 amp surge generator, which we uh, always bring with us to uh, Infocom to help demonstrate how our products work. You'll see it's about to go off, and what just happened is it generated a 6,000 volt surge, which we introduced to one of our Surge X products, which is protecting this AMX touch panel. And uh, as you can see, the AMX touch panel is still quite happy. And uh, in fact, the, the touch panel doesn't even so much as blink when we're uh, introducing that surge. Now it's about to go off again, and as it approaches, we'll, we'll actually let you look at the AMX touch panel. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit so we don't have to wait quite as long for it to go. It's getting ready to fire, and if you want to just take a peek at the AMX touch panel when it goes off, you'll hear a pop. It shouldn't see anything happening on the AMX. As you can see, the AMX didn't so much as blink, even with the 6,000 volt surge being introduced to our product, and that's because our product completely eliminated that surge. The AMX never even realized that a surge event had taken place. Now what I'm going to do to demonstrate that we're actually introducing a 6,000 volt surge, what I have here is an MOV. This is a component that's used in all of the other power products on the market. In fact, every product that uses this is a surge suppressor, meaning that it's going to take a surge and reduce it to a lesser uh, voltage. Whereas our SurgeX products are surge eliminators, completely eliminating the surge, not just reducing the impact. This is the kind of device you'll find in a $10 power strip, and you'll find it in every other power product, surge suppression product out there on the market. And what we're going to do is, we're going to now plug this in to our surge generator. You'll see it's in the same duplex as we've plugged our SurgeX in. And we'll see how it reacts to a 6,000 volt surge. Well, as you can see, this MOV didn't hold up so well. And that's part of the reason we bring them here is to just demonstrate that MOVs eventually are going to end up looking like this. It's only a matter of time because every time they do their job they get a little bit weaker and if they're exposed to enough voltage they could blow up just like this one did and then provide no more protection.